Hello everybody, Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from Menasha, Wisconsin. It is Sunday night, August 11th, 7 p.m. Central Time, and I am so happy to be back stamping with you. Oh my gosh, I heard from so many people that you missed me. I miss you guys too, believe me. Um, it was just kind of like I lost a bunch of friends over the last couple weeks. So I'm thrilled to see you here. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Sarah. Heather. Another Cindy. Jenny, welcome. I'm going to pop you up on my laptop. I've got a little different layout tonight in my office. If you guys follow me, you saw there's been so much activity around here. Oh my gosh, my head is completely spinning. I have new windows. Whoops, whoops, let's do that. That's one of them. Whoops, right there. Yay! So we got new windows in half of our house. And um, that was exciting. It was a little strange, too, because our windows used to slide open from side to side, and now they all open up and down. So they look a lot different. And um, the guys who did the windows did a good job. I was a little disappointed that I can still see the old wood that was in the windows and I thought I was getting all new and there's still old wood like little strips of the old wood and even upstairs where the blinds were attached there's still screw holes in that old wood and I don't understand that hmm. but anyways we will not be able to stand by the window in the winter while it's closed and have our hair blow in the breeze because they were so horrible <laughs> One of our windows upstairs actually got sucked out in a really bad storm, like it sucked the window part right out. And um, we just picked it up off the ground and put it back in there and caulked it. <laughs> we are resourceful here in Wisconsin. <laughs> so not only did we get new windows in half of our house this week, but on um, last Sunday, the day after the wedding, Steve and a bunch of friends tore down most of our fence. We have a pretty big backyard, so I shared some pictures of that too. And um, they had to tear down that whole fence. So if any of you local are looking for some aged weathered wood for craft projects, let me know, okay? Because we have like 23 six by eight panels in the backyard. I put it for sale on Facebook. Um, but if you're my friend, customer, I might give it away for free. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool, old, really weathered wood. And then people ask me, how old is it? I don't know. We've lived here for 21 or 22 years, and it's older than that. So anybody needs wood and you're local, let me know. We're not shipping it any place. <laughs> so we got new fence. Steve is outside right now. He just finished building the gate. Um, that goes out of our side yard so that now we can get the riding lawnmower out of the backyard. Haley Jade Atchison, my daughter just popped on here. She is sitting in North Carolina at the airport. And can I just say, I am so excited you guys are coming home from your honeymoon because I have missed you terribly. And can I just say, you could have at least shared a couple pictures. I know you had a 24 hour internet package, Missy. Your mother is sitting here wanting to see pictures. <laughs> and I'm glad you're back on American soil. <laughs> there, I just chewed her little butt, didn't I? <laughs> um, yeah, so Haley and Jared went on a honeymoon. They went to on a Southern Caribbean cruise, which I can't wait to hear about. Um, we did this cruise with Stampin' Up! a few years ago, and it's funny because Haley went on the cruise with us. It was me, Steve, Haley, and then Haley bought, brought her best friend, Nina. Nina was actually her maid of honor in her wedding, and this was back when the girls were in high school, and they both graduated college, and oh my gosh, it was a while ago, so it was super excited that they got to go on that cruise. It was our favorite trip of all time. We just had the most amazing time. So, Haley Jade, yo mama wants to see lots of pictures, girlfriend. <laughs> okay, um... Let's see, I was gonna update you on some other things. Everyone has been asking me about Steve's knee. He has his surgery scheduled for this Thursday. So we've done some doctor's appointments to get ready for that. And um, Thursday at noon, he is having his surgery to get his knee replaced. So 
Yeah. All fingers and toes are crossed. There's a lot of work that has to be done before he goes in. Like, um, I have to wash all the bedding, and, and I'm going to wash all the comforters and all that, and um, clean this house from top to bottom. Speaking of all those chores that I don't usually do anymore, I cooked yesterday and today. <laughs> I grilled chicken yesterday and today I cooked up some chicken and olive oil and garlic for salad so and Haley says yeah mom you know I don't like being on my phone I know you don't but I know that you and Jared bought a 24-hour internet package and he messaged me thank God so I would still know you're alive and you guys could have shared a couple pictures okay rant over child butt chewing over I'm happy to see you on here my love <laughs> okay, so um, knee surgery on Thursday. Now, for those of you that have asked for my address, it's 738 De Pere Street, D-E-P-E-R-E -E -E Street, Menasha, M-E-N-A-S-H-A, Wisconsin, 54952. Now, you can, when I'm done with this video today, when we're all done stamping and I say bye-bye, um, it, get, it gets posted to my uh, Facebook page. So, um, you can go back and watch this little part again. And that's why I wanted to say it really close to the beginning of the video. So that you can get that address. If anybody would like to send cards to Steve, he loves that. Loves it. So, he's already gotten a couple cards here. Yeah. And, um... Did Steve teach me how to cook? And Cindy says, oh my, you cooked. Yes, I did. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna be in charge of food. So I thought I'd better brush up on my cooking skills. So yesterday I grilled chicken. I put mozzarella cheese on it. Um, yeah, I need to get a housekeeper. So I'm kind of working on that. Not a housekeeper, just somebody to clean my house. Um, I grilled chicken with mozzarella cheese on top and I made grape salad and I made corn on the cob and maybe that was it but it was really good so um denise says tell him to do some exercises before it helps don't worry my husband is in great shape for a guy that's body is falling apart he goes to the y every day um lately all he's been able to do is sit in the steam room because he can't really do much but believe me he is in good shape he's always kept himself in really good shape and gone to the gym every day and does his workouts except you know over the last month or so he really can't but um and he's one of those guys that really follows all the doctor's orders like if the doctor says you need to be doing this every day he's doing that every day like he follows directions from the doctors to a t me not so much i don't know i just have this attitude like if i go someplace and get something done that i have to pay for then you should fix it and it's your job <laughs> i know i'm not a good i would be a terrible patient but thank goodness i haven't had knock on wood um any health problems other than a little bout with a minor cancer a few years ago but um yeah, I'm not a very good patient. I don't follow the rules. I'm like, you are supposed to fix me, so you, you go ahead and do that. <laughs> I know. Speaking of fixing me, so, um, <clears throat> oh, before I finish, I had asked you guys for some prayers. Steve's father is in hospice, and he went to see him today. He was a little disoriented, he said, but he knew who he was, so that was good news. And um, thoughts and prayers there for him, too. He's... Um, yeah, I don't know how to be tactful, but his days are numbered, I guess. That's the way to put it. So thank you guys. I've been getting a lot of comments and private messages about that too, and I really appreciate it. Um, and then speaking of, I don't know where I was going with that, but look what I did. Mm. Ouch, right? I had a little wreck on my bicycle this morning. It was kind of pretty stupid. <laughs> But, um, yeah, my feet just got kind of tangled up when I was stopped, and I kind of tipped over. It wasn't that big of a deal, but it was bleeding, and, oh, I went up to somebody's door, and I'm like, do you have, like, a tissue? And this nice old man, he was so sweet, he um, came back with this night, really nice napkin and a big bandage that he put on my elbow, bless his heart. 
but yeah, it was a pretty dumb thing that I did. So um, it's funny too, because every time I go out for a bike ride, I always give Steve a kiss and I, I tell him, love you, just in case I get killed. Because you know, riding a bike on streets is dangerous, right? And I didn't almost get killed today. Like nothing could be further from the truth. I actually just like tipped over. It was a stupid thing. But um, I always give him a kiss and tell him I love him just in case I get killed. You know, that's real, right? Um, anyways, let's see. I think that's all the updates that I had on that. And when we are done stamping tonight, for those of you who may be completely uninterested in wedding um, update, um, I'm going to stamp first. And then when I'm done stamping, I'll tell you all about the wedding. So that way, if you're tired of me, you can jump off and come back the next day or... If, um, I know Cindy, I need to take that man a card, the man who helped me with the elbow because he was just so nice and I'm pretty sure he was probably, um, living alone. Um, it just seemed that way. Like there was no one else that lived with him. Anyways, I thought he would really appreciate that. But anyhow, I will talk about the wedding when I am done. <laughs> Jenny Miller, is it time for a tricycle? No. Um, and I'll give you all the details on that because I, I wrote down some notes so I wouldn't forget because it's been like almost two weeks, right? So thank you guys so much for the prayers. That's really nice. You know what, Gene? That's a really good idea. I could take him some candy. Um, that's a great idea. I'll get some, like maybe some specialty chocolates from the chocolate candy store. You know, one of those places that makes fancy chocolate and, um, take him a card because he was just, he was so sweet. And it was funny, too, that I just went up and knocked on his door. I'm like, hey. <laughs> like, what a weirdo, right? I don't know. I wasn't going in, so don't worry about that. But, um, so don't let me forget to share wedding information with you. I did write down notes, like I said, because it's been two weeks, and it seems like a lifetime ago that the wedding took place. But anyways, from all the posts you guys have seen, it was amazing amazing and incredible and just fantastic. All right, I'm going to share some cards that I got over the last couple weeks. This one comes from Claudia Swakowski. Claudia is a dear longtime friend and customer and it's a birthday card and she wrote a whole big note to me, which is so sweet. But she told me that when we reach um, when we're over the age of 25 that we should really celebrate our birthday month and that's what her and her husband do and I love that idea I'm gonna work on Steve to see so his birthday's in January maybe I'll celebrate it all month long so then he'll celebrate mine all month long right that's fair <laughs> then I have a card from Jen Morgan and um, Jen just joined my team. Look at how pretty that is. This is that Magnolia paper. Jen just joined my team and she was thanking me for her prize. So I have a team meeting once a month and um, everybody who watches the meeting just like this on a Facebook Live on my team private group, they get entered in drawings for door prizes. So I give away lots of stuff every month. I also have a card here and I'm sneaking this in. This is from Terry Molinex or Molyneux. I'm not sure how to say that. Um, but Terry, she sent this to Steve. So isn't that cool? What a great man card. I love this and I love that paper. It's beautiful. So thank you, Terry. And I accidentally opened it because he put it in my pile of mail. So I will be giving it to him. I'm going to set it way over there so I don't forget. Next, I have um, Lori Stansberry. Okay, check this out, you guys. Isn't this cool? Now watch. It's one of these, I don't know what you call this, but it's like a box top card. Like you open it like a box top, right? So, um... It says, Kelly, you sure do paint the world with happiness. She enjoys Facebook Live Sundays in my Wait What series. She's learned so much from me. So I'm going to take off the sticky note so I can show you how pretty the inside of this card is too. Isn't that just adorable? I love this bundle. So, and then to put it back together, let me see if I can kind of show you guys. You kind of tuck it back in just like that. Isn't that cute? Love it. 
All right, and let me put this back together here. Sharon Jones sent me a card, and I had a little giggle with this one. So look at how pretty this card is. So Sharon put a little note inside. Look, she even stamped my name in there. And she says, sorry I messed up on you, Kelly. Hugs and enjoy. Sharon, it doesn't matter that you messed up because if we wanted perfection, we'd go buy a Hallmark, right? We love the love and effort that goes into these homemade cards. So thank you so much. I'm so glad that you sent it. And then I have Cindy Kittner. Look at how pretty this is. Beautiful. I love this navy blue card. Um, Cindy is thanking me for the Friends Like You bundle that she won using the host code. So when you place an order with me and use my monthly host code, you get entered in a drawing to win free product. And um, Cindy got the Friends Like You bundle. So she got an entire bundle for free last month. And Luann says so she's dropping in for a few minutes. Yay! Hi, Ashley. Hi, Karen. And then I got this from um, Wanda Rauhurst. Look at how pretty this is. Isn't that just adorable? I love the font on this. And it says, thank you so much for the catalog and being so helpful. You rock. And she's from Big Timber, Montana. She also sent me this beauty. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, I love, love Montana. So, yeah, maybe I'll come visit you sometime. <laughs> okay, those are the cards that I've received over the last couple weeks. I'm going to set those back here. Um, the other thing that I wanted to tell you about before we start stamping, don't forget that we still have our discount shopper kit. For $99, you get $155 in product of your choice. So you get to pick whatever you want and it's free shipping and you get a coupon to spend next month on your first order or one of your orders any of your orders and you get to join my team so there is a ton of benefits joining my team whether you're a business builder or a discount shopper oh my gosh one of the really cool things is let me see if i can find i just had it a few minutes ago because um here it is i was looking at it because I'm designing swap cards. So I'm in a whole bunch of swaps. Like I just took my paperwork and set it somewhere. <laughs> I had a hard time finding it because I tore, I, I cleaned up my office. Then I had to tear it apart to move it away from the windows and take everything down. And then I had to put it all back together again. And boy, things got set all over the place, but I'm feeling a little more organized now. Um, holiday mini catalog. So did you know that if you sign up to be a discount shopper and take advantage of this $99 kit and pick $155 worth of product, you can pick that product out of this mini catalog. That's right, because we get to order out of this a month ahead. So um, this goes live to the public on September 1st. We get to order out of it starting August 1st. So I've already got a ton of products out of here so I can make my swap cards. But if you order the discount shopper kit, it's an amazing deal, the best of the year. Get a $10 coupon next month, free shipping, $155 of anything you want, and you can get it out of here. Let me know if you would like to do that. Now, you need to email me or private message me. My email is kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at a stampabove.com, okay? Um, or you can private message me and tell me that, you, and, and give me your email address because that's the only way I can send this to you is through email. So if you would like to join my team, I would love to have you. Um, and then people go, oh, but I don't want to build a business. Oh, don't worry about it. Most of my team members are discount shoppers, and I love all of them. <laughs> all right. Before I forget, we have winners from two weeks ago. Oh, and Dawn says her pre-order should be there Tuesday. Yay for you, Dawn. Did I take pictures of my craft room before and after windows went in? I did, Luann. You'll find them on my Facebook page. When we're done stamping, you go to my page and you'll find the pictures there. And maybe I'll even give you a little look-see of what I did here. But first, we have to give away some prizes. First off, we have Robin Nicolacolos. No, let me try that again. Robin Nicolacacos. Yay! 
a Bowling Green, Kentucky, you win for your comment. So I have three drawings. One is for commenting. These beautiful pearls are going out to you. Then for sharing my video, I have the button button embossing folder. This is going out to Nancy Voles of Mountaintop, Pennsylvania. Congratulations. And for placing an order, we have Betty Schaefer of Houston, Texas. You are going to win this gorgeous birch background stamp. Oh my Lord, I have this, but I haven't used it yet. So watch, I will be using it real soon. Um, I think it's gonna be fantastic for Christmas and also for fall, right? Yeah. So congratulations to all of you. Let me set these back here so I do not lose them. Um, it's a challenge for me to keep everything organized, so I can't, uh, what's going on here? Oh, my little box broke. I can't lose my little box. All right, let me get this back here. Otherwise, you won't be able to find it next time, and I'm going to set these back here. Do you guys want a little tour? I can give you a little tour of my room and show you what I've done. Hang tight. I am going to pull my phone out and I'm now going to look around. Okay, so I kind of have a new setup here. Let's see if I can get far enough away from it so you can actually see it. So remember I had just a great big table here? Well now I have, I left this portion of the table off and I'm kind of in a, I don't know, U shape. I don't know if I like it yet. Um, I know everybody who comes into my office says that they think it's much bigger than it really is, and it's not very big at all. So, okay, here's my new windows. Yay! Whoops, I'm turning it backwards. It's weird because I have my camera mirrored. And see what I'm talking about with the old wood here? This is old wood right here, and I'm like, wh what? This is supposed to be all a new window, right? There's my other window. Yeah. And um, they covered this up with some, oh, hang on, wood molding here. But they couldn't do that on my other window because, I don't know, it was too thick or something. I don't know. But anyways, I, I had to tear down all this stuff and put it all back together. And then I'll come over here and let you see. Here's, uh, there we go. That's where I sit, you guys. Not a very big space. I really wish I had a bigger room. We do have a bigger bedroom upstairs, but yeah, I'll tell you. I kind of said I'd like to move upstairs, but I think Steve doesn't really want me to move upstairs because number one, I stay up really late at night and he sleeps right next door to that room upstairs that's bigger. That's number one. And number two... I think he likes me being down here so he can pop in from time to time because I would really be isolated upstairs. I don't know. But anyways, um, are we ready to stamp? I think we are. So let me move this out of the way and we're going to see. I got some fabulous cards for you tonight. And let me think about where my stuff is. All right, here comes my stuff. Okay, so... Thanks, you guys. Thank you. Look at your skinny mini legs. Megan, you are hysterical. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but I am down 40 pounds, 40 pounds. When I started my weight loss, I wanted to lose, I think I told Bev, 30 to 35 pounds. But once I got rolling on it, um, I thought, well, why not? And I'm actually still going on it. I didn't do so good over the weekend, but <laughs> I'm actually still doing it because I still have a lot of padding that could go. So, oh, and Be Barb says she loves the natural light in my room. Yeah, I do too, except I have no window coverings right now, and I actually am going to throw my blinds away because um, the strings don't work anymore. You put them up, and you can't get them down, and so they need, oh, Thank you. I got to plug in my phone. Um, and they need, well, I need some new window coverings because when I'm doing videos during the day, the sun is shining in here and it's a terrible, terrible, um, um, 
lighting situation. Like it's, it's horrible. So I need to get some window coverings up for when I'm shooting videos during the day. But anyways, thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. But yeah, I'm going to try to lose some more weight and, um, people are saying, Oh my gosh, you can't lose much more weight. Yeah, I probably can. <laughs> like I got a lot of padding, like I'm not skin and bones by any means, but thank you for your concern. Um, who did I have do my windows? I don't know. Um, something exterior solutions, something like that. If you send me a private message, I will be able to tell you who did my windows because the contract is in the kitchen. Yeah. Okay. So we're going to start doing a little stamping here. Let me see which card I'm going to do first. I get going here. Yeah, it was a big amount, Megan. I did. I, I said that I did not want to be a fat mother of the bride. And by golly, I was I set my mind to that. But I also have to tell you that it all started with um, a picture last year. Last year in May, we were in Mexico for a family wedding. And there was a picture of all of us standing there. And I looked at that picture. And for a minute, I didn't recognize that person on the end. And it was me. And I was like, holy cow. That's, I look horrible. So that's what started it all. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, I'm glad I did it because I feel so much better. Okay. I'm going to get my stuff unloaded here. And we are going to start stamping. Yay. Okay. Uh, ink card stamp set. So I decided to use the friend like you. Yeah, isn't this cute? Uh-huh. Um, I love, I love this like silhouette thing. So I'm going to show you how that works. And we're going to use some of the pieces that I made in my pigment sprinkle video from a few weeks ago. And I'll also, I'll post the link to that video when we're done here today. Oh, what's going on? Um, I will post the link to that original video showing you how I made the background that I'm going to use right now. So, um, Sharon wants to know if she's the only Scottish person that's watching tonight. I don't know, but I've never been to Scotland and maybe I should come visit you too. <laughs> I'm fighting myself all over the world. I have a friend, we've become friends just over email that lives in Australia. Lynn, this is for you. She is the funniest, most wonderful lady. She emails me and I am giggling out loud just reading her emails. And if I ever get to Australia and I am in her neck of the woods, I am totally going to pop in on her because I think we could be really good friends. <laughs> All right, I'm going to flip this around. I'm going to unmirror you first, so hang on because otherwise that'll be a disaster. Now, when I flip the camera around, lots of times, hang on, let me get my hand out of the way. Lots of times, um, the sound gets a little bit quieter. So my, my advice to you is to turn up your volume because I am right here. I didn't go any place, but for some reason, when I turn the camera this way, instead of looking at me, it gets quiet and I don't know what to do about it. I've got a pretty big mouth, so nobody will dispute that. Okay. Stamping time. First of all, if you guys follow me on YouTube or my blog, you know that I had like a ton of all of these pigment sprinkle layers that I made. I was just playing with colors. I made a whole bunch of colors. I did watercolor wash on this one and this one with the pigment sprinkles. I just had all of these beautiful pieces that I did from one of my Wednesday videos to show you how to use the pigment sprinkles. And I said that I would then be using these to make cards so I could show you what is she going to do with them, right? Okay, so let's do that. Oops, hang on, I just dropped my card. This is one of the backgrounds that I made on that Wednesday tip video. And I decided to use 
Oh, look, there's still something stuck in there. Hang on. I decided to use the palm trees from the Friendly Silhouette dies. Okay, so they come with this funky little palm tree thing. And when I first saw it, I'm like, yeah, I'm not really quite sure what to do with that. But we're going to do something pretty cool. So this is a piece of gorgeous grape. And it is eight and a half by five and a half. And I'm just holding it in half. Then I've got two Whisper White layers. One of them is three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. One of them is four by five and a quarter. The bigger one goes on the inside, so I'm just gonna set that in there so I don't get them mixed up. Then I've got another piece of cardstock. This is two and a half by three and a half. What we're gonna do with this, I am going to take the life is so good with a friend like you. Oh, you know what? I never pulled my line up on my screen so I can try and see your question. So just hang on a second. Here we go. And there it is. Okay. Um, we're going to use Gorgeous Grape Ink. And I'm going to stamp this right at the top of this little Whisper White layer. <laughs> or we're going to stamp it on the back. So, do any of you have that old guillotine paper cutter that Stampin' Up! used to have? You know, our favorite one. <laughs> yeah, well, I dropped mine earlier today and broke the handle off of it. But thank goodness I have two more. So, yeah. Okay, now I'm going to take this and I'm going to bring in my big shot. And we're going to run this through the big shot. So I'm just putting the little palm trees right here. Lay this down. I love what this does. I think it's really cool. And here is our little layer. All right, what are you guys drinking tonight? I've got my strawberry lemonade, and I'm thirsty. At the wedding, I was drinking Southern Comfort Old Fashioned Sweets with Olives. That's my favorite. I haven't had one in a very long time, and it reminded me of how much I love them. And then I thought, you know what? I need to get some Southern Comfort. We're going to cut these off of here. I need to get some Southern Comfort, and I need to learn how to make these old fashions. And then I thought, yeah, I really shouldn't do that. <laughs> that might get me in a whole bunch of trouble. Okay. I can probably just only drink them when I go out. How about that? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Steve's got a Kessler and Diet Pepsi. Hi, Steve. My fence builder man. All right, I'm going to put this up on some dimensionals. And it's not a very big layer, but I do want it to be pretty nice and sturdy. Let's see if I can fit one more. Yep, I can fit one more right there. And we're going to peel these off. I just think this is the coolest little um, image that it die cuts here with the palm trees. Oh, I already did that one. All right, so what you want to do when you do this image like this is you want to kind of bring this in here because I want this all to be centered on my crazy layer. And I'm thinking that looks pretty good. Okay, and then you're also going to pop this up on dimensionals and it'll cover up that little boo-boo that we just had. Well, we didn't have it, did we, ladies and gentlemen? I had it. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to push that off on you. Okay, there we go. I want to make sure you get this fairly straight. <gasps> Isn't that cute? 
Look at how neat that is. Okay, so this other Whisper White layer, this is the three and seven eighths by five and an eighth. We're going to, ooh, I could have, should have put the glue on the back of this. By the way, this is shimmer white cardstock. So it's got a shimmer to it. I know you probably can't see it, but when I have a really bold, bright layer like this pigment sprinkles, I love to um, put a white mat behind it. By the way, for those of you that may be new and don't know what the pigment sprinkles are, here they are. They are fantastic. And again, I will post a link to the original video. I've actually got several videos on pigment sprinkles on my blog. You can always find my blog right here. You can go scan through it and find all the goodies that I've made. There we go. And then, hang on, because we've got these amazing noble peacock rhinestones. And I thought, well, these would look fabulous because the colors match, right? So I'm going to take one of these purple ones and one of these green ones and one of these little pink ones and add some rhinestones. What do you think? Yeah. And then we need to stamp this up. So I decided what I wanted to do here. Let me close this up before I have a disaster. I'm going to take early espresso and in the friend like you stamp set, not only do you have this fabulous die, hang on, I got to poke this out. I never put my dies away, well, except that one where you saw me do it, without getting all the bits and pieces out of it because I don't want to deal with that next time I go to use it. Okay. Um, in the stamp set are some palm trees also. So I'm going to take those. And I'm just inking this in early espresso ink. And I'm going to stamp the tree trunks. And then I've got some granny apple green. And I chose that because there's granny apple green in this pigment layer. And there's a little spot in there just for the tree trunks. Isn't that stinking adorable? And then as long as we're doing that, I don't know. I feel like I need some little dragonflies up here. <laughs> Why not? They're totally cute. Okay, let me clean this off because I might be using this in a different color. Okay, this is going to be our inside. And you guys know that I like to do just a little bit of something to the inside. And here comes our super cute... And this is an all occasions card, right? It says, life is so good with a friend like you. I could send this to anybody. What just happened recently that somebody did for me? Um, gosh, I have so many things and I'm drawing a blank. The neighbor brought over some um, muffins last week. That's a good reason to give a card out, isn't it? Super, super cute. So this was one of them that I made. Here's the prototype that I was making it off of, and you can see that it's just a little bit different. All the pigment sprinkles are going to be just a little bit different. So that's something that I did with this. And before I forget, did you guys see this? This is a masking technique with the same stamp set. Yeah, so some really cool summer cards. Love these. All right, then I've got another card to show you with this same bundle before we get to the super duper fun fold that is going to blow your mind. Maybe I should say blow your socks off. Okay, here's the next card we're gonna make. And again, I'm coming in with a piece of um, shimmer white cardstock where I use the pigment sprinkles on it. This is from that same pile that I did a couple weeks ago. I've got the same layers here. This is three and three quarters by five, three and seven eighths by five and an eighth, and then this is the inside layer at four by five and a quarter. We're gonna use Pretty Peacock. This is one of our new in colors. It's eight and a half by five and a half. I'm just gonna fold it in half. And then I've got this black layer. This is for our die cutting. So 
I'm going to pull out the flowers. Now you've got flowers, you've got the dragonflies you can cut out, and then you have some cattails that's pretty cool too. So this is a really neat um, set of dies that are great for man cards. And I don't know, I always equate fall and cattails together. Maybe that's because that's when they do their cattail thing. <laughs> I don't know if you would call that that's when they bloom or whatever. But they do their cattail thing in the fall. I'm pretty sure. Okay, I am going to take this and I'm gonna leave a border on the bottom right here. Let me just bring my big shot in. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. And you wanna make sure that that stays straight. Otherwise you're gonna to have to trim it and that might be a little tricky. Now, I ran mine down and back just because it's a pretty intricate die. Get this machine out of the way again. And by the way, the setup that I have my desk in right now is not being friendly for answering questions. So it's really hard to see my laptop where it's at right now. All right, I'm gonna bring in my big shot, or my dye brush adapter here. And we're going to work this over a little bit. And again, I think I said this was basic black, right? I generally like my dye to stay on there a little longer so I can be really aggressive with it, but you can see it just kind of came right off. Mm. Oh, you know what? This needed to go through twice. So hang tight. I am going to have to run this back through because it didn't it didn't cut right here. Oh my gosh, you guys, I hear the ice cream man out this late at night. Seriously? The music on the ice cream truck is playing. Okay, now remember, when you're doing intricate dies like this, sometimes the middle doesn't cut out as well. So you have to kind of move it around, turn it around, do whatever you need to do. But if you ever have this happen, you can take your die and it will click right back into place and run it through again. And I really should have looked at the back. I should take my own advice, look at the back before I took it out like that. I didn't have this happen earlier when I made my sample card. Now I'm gonna look at it and make sure that it cut all the way. It did now, I can see it. See that? Okay, so there's your little tip. I actually have a tip video coming out on this exact thing um, next week, maybe. I know, you guys might be shocked to find out that I am just a tiny bit ahead of the game on that front. <laughs> That never happens for me. I'm usually making a video at 11 o'clock the night before it's due. And you know what? And that's how I roll. That's how I operate. And that would give people just hives. And, and sometimes it bites me in the butt because sometimes my website is having issues and I can't get something uploaded or YouTube is having issues and I can't get my videos uploaded and that's my own fault because I shouldn't be waiting till the last minute. But... It is what it is. That's what I do. All right, if you don't have the um, a dye brush at all, this adapter for the Take Your Pick tool, your Take Your Pick tool comes with this. You can get this little adapter for it. These are fantastic. I love mine. Okay, there is our silhouette. And isn't that oh so pretty? I love it. Um, Megan is asking if I'm farther away tonight. Hmm, I don't know. You know what? Let me put my phone down a little bit. I hate to touch anything because weird, weird things happen when you start messing with it. Maybe I was because I moved everything. So thank you for telling me that, Megan. All right. Um, now, what I want to do with this is I want to do a little bit of embossing. So I think I'm going to emboss right up here in this top corner. And I've already taken my stamp and added it here. 
Oops, hang on. Let me get this all straightened out. Now, this is just a red mark that I have on my Stamparatus. And by the way, if you don't have a Stamparatus, oh, you need to get yourself one because they are amazing. I love this thing. It helps me save myself. So, the reason why I decided to use the Stamparatus is because sometimes I just don't stamp right with Versamark ink, which is what we're going to use. Embossing Buddy, Versamark ink, and so sometimes I need to, hang on, I got a bit in there, I need to ink this up more than once to get a good image. I don't know why I have trouble with that, especially if you're using watercolor paper. This is not watercolor paper, it is shimmery white, so it's not as porous as watercolor paper. But I'll tell you, watercolor paper is hard to get that image pushed all the way into the texture, right? So that's where the Stamparatus is really, really helpful. This is white embossing powder. And I always kind of come in and then I do a good couple puffs on it. There we go. You want to make sure you close this up before you bring out the heat tool. And I can't find my new heat tool, but I do have my old one here and it's amazing. <laughs> I love it. And now we're going to heat set this. And once this turns glossy, you're done heat setting. So don't overheat it. If you hold it up and tip it in the light, you can see when the magic happens. Okay. That looks, doesn't that look nice? Yeah. I thought about putting a banner in there, but then I thought, oh, let's just white emboss. That's not a bad idea. Okay, then we've got this going on. Again, I'm going to pop this up with a white layer because that just really makes the sprinkled layer look stunning. If I put something dark behind it, it doesn't have the same wow factor. So just keep that in mind. Oh, thanks you guys for all the love. It does look like the Northern Lights, Elizabeth. It, have you ever seen them in real life? Like, they are gorgeous. Okay, so Amy, you say that your white embossing powder doesn't come out as clear and crisp as other colors. Is your white embossing powder stamping up? That would be my first question, because that does matter. Okay, so I see my mistake that I just made. I should have put this on before I glued this down to the white layer because now this is gonna be a little tricky to trim off the edge, right? So make sure you glue this on before you put your white layer on there. And we're gonna see just how well I can do here. I'm just gonna trim off a little bit so I don't get too much. Oops, that's a little bit crooked. Okay, let's see how I did. This just went crooked too. Oh, that's gonna make me so mad. Oh, it's pushing up a little bit. Nope, it's not. Okay, hang tight. We're gonna have to peel this off. Don't freak out. We're gonna get a new one. It got crooked and I do not like that. That'll make me crazy. I must have slid it before it was dry all the way. There, hang on, don't worry. I have lots of white cardstock, lots of it. <laughs> okay, now we're gonna try again and now I can actually put this up to my piece. So, see, I should have just torn it apart to begin with. Genius, right? Yep, that's why they pay me the big bucks. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I do love saying that, though. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on here. And I'm just putting glue on the bigger flowers. I'm not going to get too crazy with this. It's just a card. It's going to go in an envelope, right? 
so you don't have to make sure that every single little flower is glued down. It's just not that important. But you do want to make sure that the bottom black layer is lined up straight so that it's not making your earlier mine got crooked. That's what I'm trying to say. And I got a little bit of glue there. There we go. Oh my gosh, is that not just the cutest thing ever? Okay, so let's keep going. We've got our new white here. It does pain me to destroy a piece of white cardstock like that, but I am a little too anal. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Can you guys tell I'm a little out of practice? Holy cow. It's like, oh, I watched that Kelly Atchison last night. She was kind of a hot mess. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> All right. So I was looking for... Amy, did you answer me about the embossing powder? I had somebody else. Oh, yes, it's Stampin' Up. We'll never use other brands again. Yeah, exactly, because I had um, Cindy, who's on here watching tonight. She had a problem with embossing powder, and it was when she first started stamping, and we I kind of asked her a bunch of questions, and then the first thing that, well, one of the first things I happen to think of was, is it Stampin' Up white embossing powder? No, it was embossing powder from some store. And um, it, it makes a huge difference because the quality of the embossing powders that you're gonna get at, let's say Hobby Lobby or someplace like that, it's not good. Just gonna put it right out there. Okay, next. I decided that I wanted some dragonflies, so I'm just going to do Memento Black Ink. I'm going to put a couple of those cute little dragonflies right there and a couple right there. Oh my gosh, you guys, is that not the coolest? Now, this is Bermuda Bay um, Sprinkle Pigments. Is that what they're called? Pigment Sprinkles. I said it backwards. This is Bermuda Bay, but look at how beautiful it matches with the pretty peacock when it was mixed with the other colors here. Pretty cool, right? Okay, what are we gonna do to the inside? Well, let's figure it out. Also in this stamp set um, is one of these, and I'm gonna go again with the Granny Apple Green because I've got Granny Apple Green pigment sprinkles in here. And I'm gonna put this, let me stand up so I can see what I'm doing here, right there. And then I'm gonna come in with you know what? I don't think I want to use purple this time. I'm going to use Pretty Peacock. And this is the two-step stamping stamp that goes with these flowers. Now, I kind of messed this up before, but you want to look at these tall, I think these are like lupines, and you want to make them meet up with those big um, petals or leaves or whatever you want to call them. Let's see. How good I can do. Ah, yay! Pretty darn good. Okay, so that's the color I'm going to use for those. I like this better than the grape, actually, because the last one I did grape and blue. And we're going to put this inside our card. I love this pretty peacock. Like, it's a rich, beautiful color. Okay, and there's our next one. So we have this one with the pigment sprinkle background. This one... And then don't forget, this doesn't have any pigment sprinkles, but it uses the same stamp set bundle, right? Cool. All right. Thank you guys for the love. Thank you very much. Okay. Oh, um, nope, we're done with that. I was going to say, did I forget something? I don't think I did. All right, let me move this stuff out of the way so I can bring in the fun fold card for tonight. Uh... I'm going to get these here. I'll leave this layout here so you don't have just a blank thing. i got to get a drink, too, because my mouth is getting pretty dry. Okay. Um, Mary says, what dye is this? This is the Friendly Silhouette dye. goes with the Friend Like You stamp set. So this is a bundle. When you buy these two together, you get a 10% discount. Beautiful, beautiful bundle. Absolutely love it. Okay, next. Out of the way, out of the way, and out of the way. Alright, so 
usually Steve watches me at the beginning of my Facebook Live. You guys know that because you like to chat with him when he comes on and he's pretty funny. <laughs> and I am kind of hoping that he's not watching anymore because this card is actually for him. I am getting ready for this whole surgery thing, right? Yeah, I don't know what the rest of my week is going to look like when we, and next week. It's probably going to be pretty crazy because um, I will be taking care of him. And if you guys have been with me for a while, you know that that's not something that I'm really good at. <laughs> I'm just going to put it right out there. You know, I have people who are really funny, and they're like, oh, what What can't you do? It's like, well, I can't bowl, and I'm not a good nurse. So, there you have it. All right. I am going to be using the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper, and I chose this green one. I looked through all of my Designer Series paper for some masculine that um, didn't, I didn't need sailboats, right? Because I'm gonna use this On To Adventure stamp set, which I think is just stinking adorable. So I chose the Come Sail Away. I also chose the nested, stitched nested labels. Notice I put a label on there because I can never remember what these are called. And the Settles embossing folder. Love this embossing folder. Okay, this is our fun fold. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take Knight of Navy. This is just a regular card base, five and a half by eight and a half. And I'm gonna fold it. Oh, you know what? Oh, here's my classic label punch. And the delightful tag topper punch. Any tag topper punch will work just fine. So here's our card base. And we've got two pieces of Whisper White. The bigger one is four by five and a quarter. And I am actually going to decorate that up first so we have that part done. I've got two half inch pieces, so half inch by four of designer series paper here. And I'm gonna put, oh, I shouldn't do this yet. I always tell you guys, don't do it, don't do it. Um, I'm going to do a happy retirement. Now, I'll show you the original card that I made because obviously I'm not giving Steve a happy retirement card, right? I made him a get well card. Ooh, I love that font. Isn't it so cute? Yeah. Yeah, Joanne says that her embossing powder goes beige. Mine stays nice and bright and white, so that's probably... You know, I would consider getting a new container of it if it's really old. Okay, so here's our half inch. And you know that I want you to stamp this first in case I would have made a mistake. I wouldn't have already glued this paper on, right? Sometimes I have the best advice and I don't take it myself. I almost did that. Now I'm leaving just a little sliver of white at the top and the bottom because that's gonna pop on our navy card base. And then I'm gonna trim this off a little bit right here, a little bit right here, and we're gonna glue this right inside because we're done. Now the card I made for Steve says get well soon on the inside, and I'll show that to you too. But I don't need another get well soon card for a man. Well, maybe I do, but it's kind of a specific card. I made it specifically for him. Okay, next I have a piece of Mossy Meadow and this is three and a half by four and three quarters. I've already run it through the Settles folder. We're going to take our classic label punch and we're gonna push it all the way in and center it from top to bottom and do that, okay? Then I've got a piece of Knight of Navy, and this is two inches wide by five and three quarters. Hang on, I gotta grab my paper trimmer. We're going to score that at one and three quarters. 
And don't forget, all of these measurements will be in the description above this video and also on my blog as soon as I can get everything uploaded. So one and three quarters and two and a quarter, okay? And then on this, you can see that this is a short little panel, a really tiny one, and then this is a long panel. We're gonna take that long panel and we're going to punch the end off of it. Just like that. All right, are you with me so far? I hope so. Um, let me think about this a second. Okay, I'm also die cut several pieces from the stitched nested labels. So we've got this one and this one in Whisper White, and then I did the green stripes from the Come Sail Away Designer Series paper on this one. All I'm gonna do with this is I'm going to glue it back to back. And when I made my first card, you know, I always make one and so I know what I'm doing. <laughs> sometimes it's really helpful. <laughs> and sometimes I still make a mess out of things. But when I was when I made my um, sample card, once you open the card, you could see that blue sailboat's behind it. I didn't like that, so that's why I'm gonna do this, okay? And then on these two pieces, we're gonna use Memento ink, and I am going to stamp ready for that hole in one. And that's gonna go right at the top here. Yay! And then our cute little golfy guy. My husband loves to golf, and of course he can't golf because his knee is a disaster. But if he could, he would. So I figured he would love this. And then on this smaller one, and I'll tell you in a second where these sizes are, I'm going to stamp wishing you everything wonderful. Now, that can go for a retirement card or it can go for the surgery, right? His knee surgery. Okay. On this panel right here, we're gonna color it. Oh, let's talk about the um, stitch nested labels, okay? So here's our labels, and I numbered mine. This side right here is one through four. So from the outside, whoops, this is number one, number two, one, two, three, and four, and then this is five, whoops, let me try this again five, six, seven, and eight, okay? So I use number one and number two and number eight for this card. I hope that helps you because I always like to know. It's like, I don't wanna figure that out. If I don't have to, I don't wanna figure it out. All right, so we're gonna take our stamp and blends. I've got the ivory marker here and this is gonna color my little golf dude's face. I'm gonna just call him Steve. We're gonna color Steve's face. And make sure you leave his little eyebrow white so we can color that to match his hair. And he's got some little, some little hands there. Then I'm going to come in with light soft suede and I'm going to color his eyebrow and his little bit of hair here. And then I'm going to come in with bronze and I'm going to color his pants and his hat. My husband, by the way, would never wear this hat, ever. <laughs> he actually hates hats that look like that. Then I've got Night of Navy Dark, and I'm just gonna come in here and give myself a little bit of shading. And then I'm gonna bring in the Night of Navy Light. And I am gonna leave the collar white on his shirt too. Blend that in good. Oh, that looks fantastic. I also colored, whoops, I colored his shoes with a lighter blue. 
And then we've got the light mossy meadow is going to go for our flag. And this is going to match the striped designer series paper. Okay. Ha! Oh, he's so cute, isn't he? Look how stinking adorable he is. Okay. Next, enough about Steve. <laughs> okay, next I just cut a little triangle out of some of that designer series paper. And I looked at the flag on here and decided that I wanted this to have a little bit more of a whimsical look. So then I just kind of trimmed it like that, okay? And then I took this and I just kind of rounded it off like that. That looks great. All right, we're gonna glue this on. Hang on a second, because I just set my elbow down and it really hurt. Dang it. All right, um, I made this out of black, just black cardstock. It's just a sliver of black cardstock. So we're gonna kinda do this like that. And then I'm gonna bring in my flag. Yay, just like that, isn't that cute? And then we're gonna cut it off from the back. Okay, yay! All right, got yeah, this and this. Now, let me think about this for a second. Yep, we're gonna take this and we're gonna glue it to our green layer. Just like that. Now, here comes this piece. And with this piece, we are going to fold on the score line. There's two score lines here, okay? There and there. So we're gonna fold on this score line. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this to the square right here in the front. Okay, so this piece right here, I'm gonna add some glue. Now, you only want the edge of this inside piece to go up to your score line, and I'm going to center it from top to bottom. Now, I'm going to quick fold it. Yep, looks good. That's exactly what I want there. Now, you can see what I did, right? Okay, so this is our front. Now, we're going to take some tear tape. Tear and tape. I always call it tear tape, and it's tear and tape. This is just super strong tape. We're going to do that. Where did my take your pick tool go? Right here. And. Alright, I'm missing all of your questions, so just know. Thank you, Sharon Jones, saying I'm so smart with that cute little flag. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay, so now this piece, we are going to put right up to the edge and we're going to center this over the other piece. I'm going to turn this over quick. Yep, looks fantastic, right? It's completely centered. Okay. Now we can put our card together. So that's pretty, pretty cool, right? Before I put it together, I want you to see what's going on here. The other thing that I need to do is add a little bit of tear tape. Okay, we've got this, and this, and this. And we're gonna add a little bit of tear tape right here. Okay? Now, this piece goes right in there. And we're gonna center it, make sure that it is centered on this piece, you know, centered. And now I'm gonna hang on to it and we are going to peel off this other piece of tear tape. Now you can go back and watch this again and you're just going to close your card. Okay, now watch. Ta-da! Uh, yeah, this is called a flip-flap card. 
And let me finish this one and I'll show you one that I received in the mail. Um, I was going to use tear and tape here and here, but I forgot. So you want to do it like I made my first card. Tear and tape, tear and tape. You don't need anything here. I'm going to put this on a piece of white. It's just an eighth of an inch bigger. There we go. And then we're going to put this on our card front. Thank you guys so much for the love. I love it, love it, love it. And then I'm bringing in the braided linen trim. And I'm going to cut it, I don't know, about four inches or so. Okay. And we're going to just loop this. I've got it looped over. Let me get it straightened out here. Got it looped over. And you're going to bring the ends back in through the loop, okay? Just like that. Yay! Now, I thought about this earlier. If you have anybody who can't figure out they're supposed to pull this, <laughs> you be the judge of that, okay? So, if you're like, oh, they're never going to figure that out, just take a little piece of a post-it note. So I'm going to take just a little piece. Where's my pen? I'm going to take a little piece, and I'm going to do pull, just like that. And now I'm going to cut this. This is the sticky part of the post-it note, so it's going to stick to the card, right? And you can just take it, and you can put it right here any place telling them to pull okay and then they're gonna pull in it's gonna do that and you're gonna go oh my lord that is the cutest card ever I'm not done yet <laughs> okay hang on here we go we've got some of these happiness blooms so I went looking for some blue embellishments and this is what I came up with and I'm just gonna take some of these navy ones and I'm going to add them to the front because it just needs a little something something, right? It's a little something. Look at how stinking adorable that is. I love the texture of that embossing folder under there. And there we go. Now, let me show you the one I made for Steve. Ready for that hole in one? My man who loves to golf. Wishing you everything wonderful. And that means he's gonna have his life back once he gets this knee replaced, right? And then I use the Get Well from the Healing Hug stamp set. Any get well will work. But I thought, you know what? He loves to golf. I'm wishing him everything wonderful. Right? And get well soon. I think he's going to love this. Now, if you just want a retirement card, here it is. Here's, a, whoops, here's the same thing. Wishing you everything wonderful. Happy retirement. Yay! This was so fun to make, you guys. I can't even tell you. Now, go back and watch the video. I, ha I had to kind of putz around with the card a little bit to figure it out, but I think I've shown you the easy way to do it. And remember this card? Yeah, this was done with your scallop squares, the layering squares, and the birthday set, and the birthday punch. And this was from Anne D'Aquisto. So, isn't it cool? Same card, just a different stamp set. Oh, and I use different dies here. You could use squares, you can use these, you could use, I'm sure you could maybe use circles if they're big enough to um, cover up that inside, that inside panel thing. You could use circles too, whatever, whatever works. But I'm so proud of this. I think he's just going to love it. I'm gonna leave that little pull thing on there. We have, must have somebody that's retiring soon. But yeah, thanks, Anne. Thank you so much for showing me or sending me this card. This is just adorable. And that's what I did with this. So, hang on a second. I am going to bring back out the cards that we made tonight. And if anybody has any questions, now is the time because I am looking at my computer screen. 
and I apologize. I'm just not set up quite the right way to be able to watch my screen and stamp and talk and think and the whole thing. So if you have any questions that I missed, please feel free to ask again. I would love to do that. Um, by the way, this is a new punch, Delightful Tag Topper Punch. Really like this one. Gives you a really pretty tag edge there. And let's see, let me get all this stuff put away. Kind of waiting here. Thank you guys so much. You're so sweet. I really appreciate it. I will be back live next Sunday. 7 p.m. Central Time, and that date is going to be August uh, 18th. So I'll be able to give you an update. Whoops, I was going to leave these out here. I'll be able to give you an update on Steve, let you know how he's doing. And um, again, if you want to send him a card, our address is 738 D Peer Street, D E P E R E. Street, Menasha, Wisconsin, 54952. Menasha is M-E-N-A-S-H-A. And let me get this out of the way, and I will tell you all about the wedding. Hang on, I've got kind of a little bit of a mess going on here. I don't want to run over Ian's card. Ugh. All right, here we go. And I have notes. And they're right here. So I'm gonna flip my camera around. Hang tight. If you get motion sickness, close your eyes. If I happen to disconnect you, it happens. <laughs> there we go. I'm back. Yeah, and I've still got my crown on too. You guys know that I stamp better with my crown on, right? Yeah, it's a little crooked. Hmm. Okay. Um, did you see that? Well, if you're not friends with Haley, you probably didn't see it. But I put a thing on Haley's um, Facebook page while she was gone. It was this little bracelet. I'm going to try to find it right now. And it was it was just a little silver bracelet that was really cool. <laughs> Linda says you're going to give Steve a little bell that he can ring when he needs you, right? Yeah, no. That's not happening. <laughs> I will whip him into shape. He's going to want to get better so fast. You don't even know. Yeah, you can't pamper people like that, Linda. Then they'll just be, they'll just prolong it because you're treating them too good. Somebody just asked if I do paper shares, and I do not. Um, I've considered it. Paper shares are a lot of work, and I just, I kind of, I put my eggs in different baskets. I just really don't want to do all that. It's a lot of work. Um, anyway, so the little bracelet that I shared with Haley. Oh, now she's got a picture on there. Um, from her honeymoon. It says, whenever you feel overwhelmed, remember whose daughter you are and straighten your crown. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Oh my gosh. Yay. So, um, yeah. Denise, it makes them needy. Exactly. Like, if you treat people too well while they're sick, they're just going to be sick all the time. No, I'm just kind of kidding. I'm kind of kidding, but I'm kind of serious. Like, you want to get better fast in my house because I ain't got no time for that. <laughs> okay, so wedding. If you Again, if you have any questions that I missed, please post them now. I'm looking at the screen and um, I will be able to answer them. And thank you so much for the well wishes for Steve. Um, Stephanie did give her husband a bell. Uh, our house, I'm right down the hall, so he's just going to go, hey, and I'm going to hear him. So it'll be okay. Um, <laughs> I should wear my crown, Jody says, while I'm taking care of Steve. It will remind him the queen is taking care of him. Maybe I'll do that. He does like my crown. <laughs> okay. Um, <clears throat> wedding. So, Haley's wedding. You know, it's August. And in Wisconsin, generally, you know, in August we're having a drought. It's dry. Lawns are burning up. Yeah, well, um, on Haley's wedding day, it had to have a thunderstorm. And her ceremony started at 4.30 in the afternoon. And it actually started raining at about 4.45. And it didn't just rain. It, like, downpoured. But it was an outdoor ceremony. 
and <clears throat> she said her vows and we started getting big droplets like a big drop of of rain here and a big drop of rain there it didn't just start raining it just drop 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 and she said her vows she looked at everybody she kind of looked at the sky and she goes we need to go in now so everybody went in and Chris is asking if my husband is having a knee replacement yes on Thursday he is um, is there an update on the paper trimmer there is I haven't heard anything in a while I had heard that we are going to be getting um, another shipment of blades but I think there's one shipment a month each month until September so um, that's all I know about the blades so anyways, <clears throat> Haley said we need to go in now, and everybody went into the reception hall. They had cleared out the front of it, and Haley and Jared stood up there with their bridal party, and they got everything set back up, and it was like lickety split. It seemed like three minutes, and everything was ready to roll. I was so glad that Haley reset her vows, because as she was saying her vows, I think a a lot of people were very distracted because there was the rain was starting here and there so she redid her vows and they were so wonderful like very heartfelt and personal and um, let's see Julie's asking about the purple ink pad is it available yet it is not available yet but they do have it fixed they figured out whatever was wrong with it and fixed it so you will be hearing about that soon and that's the purple posy Julie so Glad you're asking. So anyways, they, they did the wedding ceremony. It was incredible. I was very shocked at how emotional I was when I turned around and saw her dad walk her up to the edge where she had to come down the stairs. Um, I really got choked up. Like, I was like, oh, like that's my baby. Anyways, don't make me cry again. <laughs> um... And the funny thing is, is that Haley just wrote her vows that morning. Who does that? My daughter. <laughs> you know I'm a procrastinator. Yeah, so uh, we went to somebody's house for everybody to get ready. And um, I walk in, I'm like, where's Haley? She got locked in the bedroom to write her vows because this is the day of the wedding. She still doesn't have her vows done. And we're there for hair and makeup. So anyway, she did write her vows. They were fabulous. Um, the one thing I was really disappointed is we made a palette. Uh, we took a wood palette, I palette, and I painted it white, and then she put her ceremony. She stenciled at 4.30, ceremony. At 5 o'clock, reception and appetizers. At 5.30, whatever. At 6 o'clock, whatever. So this is on a great big wooden pallet that sat right out front. And the florist had a big like flower display that went down one corner of the of the um pallet. And I can't find I didn't take any I took very few pictures that day, like next to none. I was really unplugged and just really wanted to make sure I was there and taking in the whole day rather than messing around with my phone camera, right? But nobody seems to have a picture of that palette with the flowers on it. So I'm kind of disappointed. But um, maybe the professional photographers will have it. Um, so, yeah, I'm hoping on that. And don't worry, I'll share lots of pictures when the photographers get the pictures done. And she had a videographer. So um, I'll share that too. And yes, Catherine, I was enjoying the entire day. So there will be more photos. The one thing we learned, the donut wall that Steve and I actually made it together, it turned out fantastic. Like, we couldn't have been happier with it. We learned that if you're going to do a donut wall, you have to tell your venue not to put the donuts in the cooler when they arrive. Who puts donuts in a cooler? So, you know what happens when you take a donut out of a cooler? It starts to sweat. So thank goodness they didn't bring the donuts out and put them on the donut wall until after dinner because about an hour, hour and a half later, some of them, the frosting was falling off of the donuts. <laughs> Don't put the donuts in the refrigerator. You just can't do that. Um, the DJ was awesome. 
they did a cute little thing where Jared and Haley both took their shoes off and Jared, they sat back to back on chairs on the dance floor. And Jared had his shoe in one hand and Haley's shoe in the other. And the DJ was asking him a whole bunch of questions like, who's more adventurous? And they both had to raise a, um, uh, a shoe up to say who is more adventurous. So if their answer was Haley, they would raise Haley's shoe up. And if it was Jared, they would raise his shoe up. So they got almost all of them right. Like, who's more adventurous? Haley's shoe went in the air. Haley's shoe went in the air. And um, just a whole bunch of really cute questions like that. So that was really fun. Thank you guys so much for um, loving my dress. I loved my dress. And it was actually a steel gray. I know some of the pictures made it look blue, but it's a very dark gray. And um, it had silver glitter in it. And Amy says, was Steve able to walk her down the aisle? He was able. He walked pretty good. Later in the night, the longer the day went on, the more pronounced his limp became until he was like, Ugh, he was really hobbling around and everybody's like, wow. And I'm like, I know, but he'll be fine. <laughs> um, and everybody kept telling me how fantastic I looked. Like, oh my gosh, you look fantastic. I love your dress. And I'm like, thank you so much. I think I'm going to sleep in it. That's what I was telling everybody. Oh, I might sleep in it tonight. I didn't, but I loved my dress. It was just spectacular. And I actually did go back to the store and get two sizes smaller than the one I bought back in March. So that was pretty cool. And after the wedding was over, Haley and Jared quick went home, grabbed their bags, and at 2.30 in the morning, they had to drive to Milwaukee, which is like an hour 40, hour 45 minutes to hit the airport down there to fly out to Puerto Rico for their honeymoon. And that was on Saturday night, Sunday morning, 2.30 in the morning, they did that. And, you know, they're young. They could do stuff like that. I just saw that Haley did post a picture on her um, Facebook page, finally. Here, I'll show it to you guys, because it's on my computer. Look at how gorgeous that is. Yeah, that's the only picture, you guys, the only picture that we've seen from those two kids. And I know they're on their honeymoon, but I want to see pictures. <laughs> I was really kind of like, hmm, you guys are going to be in so much trouble when you get home. But anyways, um, it was really cool. The wedding was fantastic. Everything went off without a hitch. Even the rain wasn't a big deal. Nobody cared. And um, we had so many people, like we had a ton of people come over the next day and tell us it was the funnest wedding they'd ever been to. Um, we had somebody tell us that they had been to, that was their fourth wedding this summer and it was by far the very best. And I, and I said, why? What, what made it the best? All the personal stuff. They loved the pictures on the tables. Um, I showed them to you guys in my pictures. There was, each table had Jared and Haley, a photo of them in a frame. This is us at one. So it was them at one year old. This is us at two. Them at two years old. And pictures side by side. And those were the table numbers. So the board that I made with everybody's names and their table number, like if you were at table number one, you had to go find table number one and table number one had them at age one. If you were at table number two, you had to go find table number two and it was, it was them at age two. We made 20 of those. They were the coolest thing ever. Um, the board that um, Haley had me make to memorialize my father, her grandfather, was just uh, so spectacular. I took a big, tall frame from um, Goodwill. It had a wolf picture in it, you know, a tall wolf picture. Really nice frame. So I bought that at Goodwill, and I ripped out the wolf and threw that away. And... Um, I, I took a piece of plywood, little eighth inch plywood, and I, I cut it about this tall, and I put that in the bottom of this tall picture frame, and then jute string, two strings across the empty part on the top. Oh, I painted it with chalkboard paint. Did I say that? And then Haley wrote, you know, the poem about, you know, even though you're gone, you're still here, whatever that says. And then she hung pictures of her and my dad 
on that and it was just so touching and everything was so perfect the place was beautiful the food was outstanding um the donut wall was great people loved the donut wall like we didn't we brought one box of donuts home and we ordered 15 dozen so that was crazy um, we had like 200 people in attendance. We tried to keep it small because I'm sure as you guys know, weddings are really expensive. But yeah, where did I find time to do all that? Well, here's the deal, Irene. I checked out last week. Like I really checked out. I was not working. I was not stamping. I was, um, I was at her beck and call. I don't know how many times we had to go shopping. We went to every St. Vincent and Goodwill store in the whole valley and buying pedestals to put candles on because she had a gazillion of them all over for the ceremony. And we brought all those home and spray painted them gold. So we were like buying out every place in the area and um, whatever she needed me for, that's what I was doing. And she'd say, Mom, do you have time? Yep, what do you need? I'm yours. I'm yours all week. You know, what do you need? So everything turned out beautiful. All the stuff that was there that we made, that you know we got, that we altered, that whatever, was super cool. It was all her idea. She just told me what she wanted, and I made it. I want a donut wall. I went on Pinterest. I went on YouTube. I made a donut wall. Um, I want something with a blackboard in the bottom and something to hang on the top, framed. I just went to Goodwill and went, nah, this will work. But, you know, I'm crafty, so this is not something new to me to do all this stuff. But that's where I found time as I checked out. I checked out, and that's why I'm behind on thank you cards for my orders. By the way, you guys, if you have ordered from me and you have not received a thank you card, I have a bag filled with cards that are ready to go in the mail tomorrow morning. So just know that... They're on their way, and thank you so much for your patience. I can't tell you how um, much that really helped me, that I didn't have people nipping at my heels, you know, um, as well you should have, because I'm, I'm a little behind on stuff. But even, like, my online technique club, nobody has asked me, where is my technique club? I usually send it out at the end of the month, the beginning of the next month. It usually, that goes out to people. Nobody has asked me, and bless you guys all, because I think everybody knows that I was a little, I was a little busy with the wedding. And, um, but I really appreciate your patience because I would have stayed up very, very late last week if I had had people saying, where is this, where is this, where is that? And I would have really done it. And I can say that I'm almost caught up with everything. So, yeah. It took me a couple days to recuperate after the wedding. Like, I was just like, oh my lord, I'm just done, right? Because you're such high energy and such, um, so much going on. And you're running 100 miles an hour. And um, it took me a couple days to get it back together. Like, I would come in my office, my studio, and I'd sit here and I'm like, I don't even know what to make. When I'm away from my office, it takes me a couple days to get my mojo back. When I'm here every day and working every day and creating every day, it's like boom, boom, boom. But as soon as I take a few days off, you're like, oh my Lord, I can't think of anything. So, um, but I'm back and I think I did pretty good tonight. I'm really happy with these cards. In case you're tuning in late, let me show you this. This is a flip-flop card. Isn't it the cutest little thing? Yeah. And um, it's for Steve for his knee surgery on Thursday. And then we also made this. Beautiful, beautiful. This is the pigment sprinkles background and this one. I know the, I know the words are backwards. I'm sorry. They're just going to be. Um, okay, you guys. You are going to find all of these cards, their dimensions, an ingredient list on my blog. And I am going to, whoops, I am going to do a little mirroring here. If anybody needs to place an order, this is my blog right here. You can go right there. There's an online ordering button in the right-hand column. This is the monthly host code. 
for August. That host code can also be found in that right hand column. Um, the updated one is always there. And I always appreciate your orders. If you do not have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to earn your business. We have a brand new holiday mini catalog coming out. Um, September 1st, it goes live to the public. However, if you would like to join my team as a discount shopper or a business builder, you can order your kit, $155 worth of product for only $99 and free shipping out of this catalog right now. Yeah, I've had a lot of people join my team um, last month and this month because the promotion is fantastic. You get $56 worth of free stuff plus a $10 coupon to use next month on your order. So it's a lot of fun being on my team. I have to tell you that. <laughs> All right, you guys. I didn't see any other questions. Please know that if I miss your question, feel free to ask it. You can also send me a private message and I'll be sure I answer it. I am going to sign off for tonight. I will be back next week, August 18th at 7 p.m. Central Time. Um, I have some videos coming out this week on my blog. Again, if you don't have a demonstrator, I'd love to be that person. Choose me. <laughs> have yourselves a fantastic week, and thank you so much for spending your Sunday evening with me. Bye-bye.